It's packing day in this Northern Virginia basement. Volunteers are busy filling bags with food for hungry children in Prince William County. There are kids who come to school on Monday and they haven't had any food. I can't imagine that. Crossroads Connection is providing weekend meals to 90 students this year. There are seven items per day. Despite a devastating blow to their budget, scammers stole $25,000 from the charity, enough money to feed 100 kids for a year. It's gut-wrenching. It's, it's just shocking and you can't believe how it could happen. But it did happen. Here's how. David was emailing with two churches, one that currently handles the charity's finances, and the other set to take over at the end of the year. Scammers hacked into one of their email accounts and learned about the transition, then sent an email from that account asking for money to be wired to a bank in California. Please arrange to transfer $25,000 and let us know once it's done. And it was done before David had any clue this was even happening. See, the hackers made a slight change to his email address, so it appeared that he had been CC'd. Somebody had inserted I between the D and the R. I didn't get that email as a result. It's a billion dollar enterprise. It's becoming all too common. It's called Business Email Compromise, or BEC. In fact, just this summer, the Department of Justice and the FBI arrested 74 people in a worldwide BEC scheme. Cybersecurity experts say these hackers depend on the oldest trick in the book, deception. And they're using current information from your email account to trick you. And they're doing something that seems completely logical, because in this case, it was logical. They were in a transition, and the hacker took advantage of the transition. We're working for you with four ways to protect yourself from these types of scams. If someone emails you asking for money, double check the sender's email address. Call the person to verify, especially if you're wiring money. Be suspicious if they want to change the usual payment type or location. And set up multi-factor authentication on your email account to help keep the hackers out. Obviously, this has to be paid for. David says the community has rallied since the theft, and while they haven't recovered all of the money lost, Crossroads Connection is committed to providing bags of food to the 90 students who need the meals. And this is a bold act of faith, and somehow we'll, we'll manage.